My name is Julian Thomas and uh, I'm a construction worker by day and when I'm not uh, when I'm not building houses, I like to do projects. I like to materialize my ideas. And um, this behind me is my latest project. It's called the Faraday Cafe. Um, and it is a cafe that repels wireless signals. Um, I want to give people an opportunity to to exper experience uh, life without bombardment of, of digital signals. Um, and I don't think we need to leave the city also to kind of to get away from digital technology. I think we can build structures, create scenarios where we can uh, where we can seek refuge only for the time it takes to drink a coffee. A lot of people when I tell them the concept uh, they, they start laughing. They get it. Um, so I don't know how long people are going to want to stay in there. Maybe they're going to want to stay all day. I don't know. Um, but I do think I do think that people are uh, curious enough to give it a try and maybe have a conversation about what it would be like to have more spaces in the city that are like this. So um, with with the box behind me, um, that's going to be the the real Faraday cage cafe. Outside of it, there is also a mesh as well. Um, so even if you're not inside, you kind of get a feel for what it's like to be inside. Um, and I think this would give people an opportunity to have a conversation with somebody inside when they're outside or vice versa. Um, so we can kind of get close to other people um, when, when they're disconnected. When we can be reached at all times, a place where you can't be reached I think is, uh, is a draw. And I was reading somewhere they said that in the future um, privacy will be the new privilege. So we're creating a space where where those conversations can be had and you, Google doesn't know where you are. Um, you're going to have to leave the room to take a call. So I guess tomorrow when we open our doors we'll find out. <laughs> Good.